What's up, man? Yo, what's up? Oh, man. So, tell the stream a little bit about your competitive fighting game background, what games you play and that sort of thing. Oh, well, I play Marvel, I play AE. That's basically it at this point. And DOA? And DOA now, yeah. Um, I really, really tried to get into a DOA scene back when 4 was out, right. but it was nothing in my area, so. Yeah. Plus, yeah. at the time, it was hard for me to get out at that time, so. Um, so yeah. it's interesting that you chose DOA as like the one 3D fighting game you wanted to get into. What happened was when I first got my Xbox, DOA was the only fighter out more. Right. Yeah. So I basically just kind of sunk into that. And I was like, okay. And I played that four like crazy. And I was like, okay. Street Fighter Four is out now. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. I kind of drifted into that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So what do you think about DOA 5 so far? I like it better than 4 already. Well, that goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, How does it stack up against other titles as like a tournament-worthy fighter? As a tournament-worthy fighter? I think it stacks up well. Like, I agree. I mean, come on, we haven't, we haven't had Tekken yet. Or any people show up Tekken, that's what I was like. Yeah, no, I was saying yeah, earlier, uh, DOA now. <laughs> Two weeks in a row has had the biggest turnout by far. Um, so hopefully, we'll see more of that going forward. Yeah, that'll be great. All right. So now we got Ultimizer versus Jackal. So Ultimizer, significantly more experience in DOA, yeah. but Jackal has tons of fighting game experience. True. Jaxel perhaps not realizing there that he was at disadvantage after breaking Mila's multi-throw. Yeah. Get ready. You did not press a button after that throw. <laughs> nice. He didn't finish the multi-throw there, presumably because he didn't know the input. I don't even know the input. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jaxel might have found his character, though. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's found his guy. Elliot is a complete monster in, in the right hand. Like when Rabies uses him, it's uh, it's pretty nasty. Yeah. I wish I had a chance to play against Rabies last week. Oh, you didn't even play against him? No. I played against him in casuals, but not in the tournament. Oh, uh, are down to half health. Wait, so who did you lose to in the winner's bracket? Virtual fight. Oh, so you lost him twice? Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. So. Since I, like, I, I originally thought I was probably going to end up going against Raving's losers, but... Right. I didn't think Raving's was going to losers. I thought you might have a chance to meet in the Grand Finals. Uh -huh. <laughs> but Virtual Pie was, was strong last week. Yeah. This week he is uh, babysitting, which is the most legitimate reason for not attending a tournament I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> what can you say to that? Like, leave the kid at home alone and come play DOA? No, you can't say that. Oh, it's 2-2. Two, two. Close game here. Where do you think oh. Elliot sits right now in the chairs? Oh, dude, it's... <laughs> it's really early, but... Yeah, no, it, the tier list thing is, uh... First of all, I'm not even qualified to speak on it. And then, on top of that, it's so early in the game's lifespan. It's, you know, back when the game first came out, people were saying that, you know, Hayabusa was the best character, and now they're saying he's not good at all, and uh, <laughs> people's opinions change all the time. Yeah. I mean, I know people were saying that Helena was weak, now they're saying she's strong. And then people were saying that Lisa might be the worst character in the game. Rabies last week was saying she might be one of the best characters in the game. So it's, you know, it's all over the place. But I do get a sense that you can you can compete with most characters on even footing. Right. What is that Victoria on, on Mila's outfit I, there? I don't know. Is she from Victoria, British Columbia, uh, Canada? <laughs> No, Rig is the Canadian. One. Right. I think she's American. I don't know. I think I heard that she was from Spain. Which is weird because she does not have 
a Spanish accent. Yeah. Nice. The fake into the tackle there. And Jaxel finding out the hard way that you are at disadvantage after you break it. If you even manage to break it, which is not a guarantee as we see there. Yeah. Oh, that was going to go off the edge, but nothing doing. And I'm so unfamiliar with both of these characters, I don't even know if that was a mid-kick or a high-kick <laughs> that got held. Because <laughs> I don't know the uh, the kick animation or the hold animation. Yeah. I was telling my friend, like, the first month and a half of this game, you won't be spending time learning your character, you're going to be learning other characters to see what they can do. Yeah. I mean, it's the only way to really learn a character is to play that character yourself. Like, I'm completely lost when it comes to the DOA 4 characters because I didn't play that game, the Virtua Fighter characters because I didn't play that game, and Mila. And the only new character I understand is Rig because I use him myself. Uh, so that's that's the only way to do it. Nice. That, I'm assuming, was a mid-punch. Mila has a lot of uh, MMA moves, as we were discussing earlier. She's got a triangle choke, an arm bar. She's got... A key lock. She's got a rear naked choke. All sorts of stuff. There's a flying triangle. And ultimize takes it. Nice. Well done, ultimizer. You know, when I saw Mila, uh, I thought I might use her because it's I'm a big MMA guy. So I was like, oh my god, it's an MMA <laughs> character in DOA, <laughs> but uh, it's. She didn't gel with me for whatever reason. Uh. And now I guess it's going to be uh, Ultimizer against Royal Lance here.